Pete here and I'm back for another Funbridge tournament. I'll show you how to get in. So you want to go open Funbridge and then get started slash practice down to exclusive tournaments and then click view all tournaments and search for Bridgevid or Pete Hollands. And let's see who takes out the top spot. Paul Carson plus 41. Equal second spot. We've got a three-way tie with Tadpole 42, Osmi and Ber Bergas. Uh, plus 40 just behind them rounding out uh, the top six I guess uh, seal wheat and adnib 44 on plus 39 and just an imp behind per Louis so uh, there is quite a few imps on offer here so looks like there is going to be a very swingy set like it is still in the plus 30s down into uh, about the top third of the uh, field is uh, up around the 30 imp mark. So a lot on offer today. So maybe some distribution, maybe some aggressive bidding. Uh, we'll jump in and see what we can do. But uh, 40 imps is a lot. Anyway, uh, pass a spade. So my partner's a passed hand. Um, I've got a two, four, four, three. I, I kind of want to try and compete on this hand. I could consider a takeout double. Um, I'm a little point shy. My partner's not going to get too excited. So I reckon uh, doubles all right. So we'll get in there and try and compete, push them around. My partner bid to three hearts. I'm not interested in any more than that. And uh, let's go. All right. Uh, dummy came down with eight points and a seven triple two. Um, so one spade, two clubs. Two clubs was, wow, they played it as non-forcing after my double. And then they jumped to three spades, invite. All right, well, we're continuing a heart. And I'll take that. Um, so for, if I was to give my partner a club rough, I would need clubs to be seven, three, three, zero. Like, it's not impossible, but I don't think that's the case. I think my partner having the King of Diamonds is more likely. Uh, maybe they should have led the King of Diamonds if they had it. So maybe I should have tried to give it a rough. I was so worried that there was three clubs there after they uh, roughed the diamond. Um, but uh, first board and plus two imps. Uh, five hearts for the win as a sacrifice. Um, okay, uh, that's a, a lot of bidding. I thought stretching to a double was enough, um, but we got our two imps, so I will take that. Moving on to board number two. Oof. This is a good hand. We have 16 high card points and eight hearts. Um, Right, uh, I think I just want to start with one heart, but uh, it's going to be awkward to catch up a little bit. Uh, I could bid three hearts. I really don't want it passed. Could bid four hearts, but that's sort of too weak for what I've got. I don't need too much from my partner, but I guess the chance of me making slam has kind of dropped with my partner bidding spades and a takeout double there, because it's more likely the king of clubs and ace of diamonds are over there. Uh, so maybe I just bid four hearts. It feels like I'm undercooking it, undercooking it a bit. Um, three no, <laughs> I'm just reading the description. This bid shows an established seven card minor. I find it weird that uh, I'm showing a seven card minor with five hearts by bidding that way. Um, I could do something weird by like a jump shift into three clubs just to show a game forcing hand, but I'll just bid four hearts. The fact that there's so many imps on offer makes me think that slam might make. Ace of diamonds. I need hearts 2-2 two, two pretty much to make this. So... Yeah, they are. Um, are they? Oh, no. Okay. Good news. All right. Um, 
I am going to try and be sneaky and squeeze West in the minors uh, by sneaking a club to the jack, back to the ace, and oh, I want to uh, just uh, knock out that queen first. I'll just win there. And let's play a low club towards the jack. See if I can sneak one past the king. Okay. And now if West has the queen jack of diamonds and the uh, king of clubs, uh, we're all good. So we don't need the clubs over here. I don't really need to count anything. Um, okay. Haven't seen the king of clubs, haven't seen the other top spade, so we'll play a diamond to the ace. Did that person shift away from a low diamond, from low doubleton? Anyway, we got plus six imps. Uh, we got an extra trick, which was not worth anything whatsoever. Um, but some people bid three hearts and got to, to play there. Uh, so what was the uh, layout here? Queen doubleton. So they shifted to a low diamond from queen doubleton. So it, it still worked. And this was me just trying to take in, uh, a, like, with the takeout double, I was quite sure that pretty much all the points were, were in that hand. Like, it was slightly feasible that the doubleton king was in the right hand, uh, but it's really hard for them to hop up with the king when I do that sort of play. So I like those sort of sneaky plays. Managed to get the extra trick. Kind of disappointed that that didn't uh, net me a bonus import or anything. But uh, moving on to hand number three. Okay, uh, 15 points, four, five in the majors. We'll start with uh, one heart. I'll reverse into two spades and then sort of round out my shape with three diamonds next, most likely. Three hearts. Game forcing with a hope of slam. Okay, uh, well, if three spades is a cue, let's do that. Okay, and I got three key cards, so five diamonds. Got all the key cards. I don't have anything else to show. Um, uh, okay, I've currently got it for 1430 for kings. This is not something I typically play, uh, but my six diamonds said I don't have. Hopefully, that said I don't have any kings. Um, it said I got zero or three. My partner might think I've got three for uh, whatever reason. No, my, <laughs> this is a weird one. I don't know why my partner bid five no trumps if they were going to bid a uh, grand slam anyway. Um, so if my partner's going to bid grand slam, why bother with uh, three no trumps? Uh, so this is an interesting one. Um, we got the king of spades lead. Uh, I have um, no diamond losers, no heart losers, no club losers. It's just spades. I got three spade losers. Now, if diamonds are three, two, um, I can uh, just pitch two of them on diamonds and one on clubs. Alternatively, I could play for West to have the queen of spades. And I can just win the ace of spades and then lead the jack and take a roughing finesse. And if that works, uh, then I'll be okay. So the downsides of that are spade seven, one, or West leading a spade from King Doubleton. Um, first of all, I really can't imagine West leading from King Doubleton. So I'm gonna mark West with the, the queen of spades. Um, spades seven one seem very unlikely as well. So I am just gonna go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, do it. Uh, so rough. I was thinking about fluffing around with trumps first, but um, yeah. Therefore one, and over to my ace of clubs. Always want to choose the safest way over to your hand, um, but uh, we, we can just claim at this stage. So making seven hearts. Diamonds broke as well, so everything worked, but like, 
they just can't be leading from a doubleton like a doubleton king or all, all of those that really weird things the bidding would have been different um but all roads lead to him even queen jack doubleton club so uh really good one there but uh plus eight so we're on plus 16 after the first three moving on to board number four we've got a flat 12 count i sort of want to just bid three no trumps offering like hey i've got a fit but do you want to play three no trumps i don't necessarily want a game force on this hand but it's close enough yeah, partner wants to play uh, four hearts. It was one of these ones where if we were going to play three no trumps, I'd really want to bid this way because it's kind of hard to show three card invite but also offer three no along the way. Um, so because I really wanted to offer three no trumps, that's why I went uh, this approach. That being said, uh, now that I'm in four hearts, I feel like maybe I should have invited, but four hearts is fine. Um, I got two diamond losers, a spade loser, a club loser, and a heart loser. Uh, largely, I want to hope with my nine card fit that hearts are two, two, and the queen will fall. Um, also, I, my, my club loser, that's going to go on the third round of diamonds. Um, I just want to draw trumps and then knock out the ace of spades. So we'll win there. Um, no four nil splits I can deal with, so. Okay, they're, they're two two. And now we knock out the ace of spades. And at this stage, uh, they get their two diamonds and we make 10. Ooh, okay. Uh, we've got a chance here for um, 11. So I actually want to um, throw my diamond loser away. Ooh, actually. I have a chance for 11. Um, I can either throw my diamond loser away and take a roughing finesse in diamonds, or I can throw my club loser away and hope clubs are 3-3. Three, three. Um, so I saw the 10 there. Um, I don't know if East has led from Queen Jack small club or did East lay down the Ace of Diamonds from Ace King. Um, all right, so if that Ace King, yeah, I think uh, Righty's probably got Ace King of Diamonds, so we'll go this way, but it's not clear cut. Uh, ne neither were working so all right 10 tricks and another five imps so some people just opted for inviting and your partner just passes it down yeah, like, they've only got 12 points but they do have six hearts um, but the aggressive approach worked there but we're up to plus 21 moving on to board number five Uh, one diamond, flat 12 count, so a bit of heart. Um, I could bid two no invite, it's 10 to 12. I could just bid three no. Uh, game force last time, I'm less inclined about this one. Another four triple three 12, but we are vulnerable against not. Um, so at imps, you really want to try and strive towards these games. So I'll give it a shot. Uh, I feel like this one's more of an overbid. Partner's got 14, so they would accept the invite anyway. And we've got three spades, three diamonds. We'll build a club trick. We have a heart trick, so I need to find one more. Um, and I want to see if the jack of diamonds or jack of spades falls. Um, I can maybe build a heart trick as well if they switch. Ace is king, so no one's done any bidding. Okay, so clubs are 4-3. Uh, so if that's the case, I can afford to lose another trick. Um, so I probably want to cross over and lead a top heart while we can.
Nope. Oh, heart return. That is... And my eight of hearts is a winner as well. So all my hearts are good. My diamonds are good. Everything's good. So uh, we can just win and we've got the rest. Ooh. Uh, we want to check for the beer card though. Uh, they unblocked for me. Okay, so we'll lead the Jack of Hearts and throw a spade away. And at this stage, they will throw in the towel, I think. No, I want that beer. Almost got sloppy there and didn't play for the beer card, but uh, it was there. 10 tricks and eight imps. Uh, some people went down in that one. Um, neither spades nor diamonds break nicely for getting it. By the way, for the percentages, you do typically want to just bang down the ace king queen. Um, but you want to find out more information about what's going on. But once clubs were 4 3, we could afford to lose um, a heart trick. So that chance of uh, picking up the heart seemed quite promising. And at the very least, we'd get some extra information. Moving on to board number six at plus 29 imps, three to go. Uh, we've got a 14 count and we're favorable. I might have to just bump this up to one no trump. We've got some good intermediates, favorable. I don't mind pinching a point or pushing them around a bit. So my partner just passed two hearts and then competed to three hearts. Their hand is really weak. So the opponents have most of the points and I feel like we've maybe been able to rob them here of their spade game. They might not make game in spades, but they could easily have uh, like one heart and two diamond losers very reliably in uh, that. Um, from the bidding, East is a past hand, so the Ace of Spades is pretty likely to be offside. Um, so I don't mind too much if we go down here, but we've got two club losers, two spade losers, at least two heart losers. Um, maybe I could get out for one heart loser on a miracle, like Queen 10 doubleton heart. Or King 10 doubleton. Anyway, uh, two top clubs. And they catch the spade. Nice. Um, I could cross over to a diamond and lead a heart just in case. West did make a takeout double. It's unlikely to be relevant, uh, but we'll give it a shot. I guess it was bad for... Um, a uh, singleton honor. So I might have just gone an extra one down here if West had a singleton honor. No, um, but uh, we've got all but uh, one of them here. So three hearts down one, but uh, claim refused. Uh, there's only one heart left out. I think I claimed the right number of stuff. But yeah, heart to the ace was better. I think the uh, chance of honor 10 doubleton with them, with the non takeout double was worse for than the extra under trick there. Anyway, uh, some people beat two spades. Really? Can they not get, uh, so we've got three diamond tricks and a heart trick. And, oh wow, they can't get to this hand at all. Uh, here I thought maybe they'd make four spades, uh, but we've got three diamond winners. Uh, they, we get a spade winner and they can't ever whatsoever get there uh, to take a club finesse. Never. Like, 
I wasn't expecting that. I was thinking, yeah, they can take a spade finesse, maybe a club finesse. Nope, zero finesses. And you can actually three diamonds, a club, a heart and a spade. Wow. Anyway, I'll take my plus two imps. We're moving up to plus 31, two boards to go. Okay, flat 10 count and vulnerable, so pass. All right, partner, bit of spades. So I've got a really good hand, so I'll start with the curés. Partner's happy for four spades, which is great. Okay, and my left hand, my right hand opponent's the one with the good hearts and diamonds. So we've got no club losers. We have a spade loser and two diamond losers. I wanna take a diamond finesse. I wanna try and trump a diamond. I wanna finesse spades. Oh, we've got 10 opposite, uh, is that 14? So 24, 16 points missing. And West should be pretty strong. Like. I'm not sure it's possible for the uh, King of Spades to be in the East Hand, but like that'd probably bid on a void anyway, so. Um, uh, do we go for dropping the Singleton King? Um. Like bidding one heart and three diamonds is very strong. And I've only got 16 points total. Uh, I've got ace, king, queen of hearts, nothing in clubs. King, jack of diamonds, would that be good enough? Like if I got a five, five, maybe. I feel like I should try and drop the singleton king. Nope. Okay, uh, well, let's just play a spade. Okay, don't I look foolish here? Could have just taken a finesse. Anyway. I'll take this one. And uh, we got the rest now. Still get plus two imps, but uh, could have been one better there. Um, so it could have been plus three. Uh, we're at plus 33, one board to go. 16 points, uh, five, four, two, two. There's a really good hand. Start with one spade. Um, and I want to bid like new minor forcing. Just checking out uh, two clubs is just uh, check back. Okay, and my partner does not have three spades, but supposedly this doesn't say anything about hearts. They are a maximum hand. I could bid three hearts, which is natural and forcing. Partner's happy for three, no. Uh, I don't think we've got it slam on, so we'll just uh, take the low road. Okay, club lead, we have five diamond tricks, three heart tricks is eight, the two aces is 10. I can duck this club for 11, no matter whether it wins or loses. And maybe that fourth heart can be my 12th. Okay, so with that winning, um, I think I can just duck a spade here just to uh, cause some issues for people. So I'll just duck this one and we'll take the ace there. All right, so the king of spades is still out. Um, at this stage, uh, I just wanna play ace of hearts, heart to the queen. Uh, I want to diamond, diamond. I want to test two hearts just to see if the jack falls. So if the jack falls doubleton, then uh, my tens are winner. Um, but my communication between the hands is pretty bad. Um, like I can always overtake the second diamond, but if diamonds don't split, that costs a trick. Uh, maybe I want to do that anyway.
Uh, like, I don't think diamonds are 5-1. I don't know if I've got any good reason to think that, but I'm going to be playing for that. So we're just checking for doubleton jack of hearts here first and keeping the king of hearts for an entry. All right, so righty's got all the hearts. Um, I don't think I've got any squeeze left over now. So, um, I could have at least taken one diamond, seeing if there was six zero at least. But, uh, looks like I've navigated that one all right. Let's keep an eye out for any spade discards. No, it doesn't matter. Um, so I can set up that spade, but uh, it's not going to be the uh, top one. But making 11. Could have considered finessing the heart, but I don't think that was the uh, way to go. Some people bid and made six no trumps. Whew. Anyway, uh, finish with plus 34. Nothing too drastic here, um, but uh, plus two imps on that one. Um, so here, didn't really do anything fancy. My partner took control in seven hearts. Pretty much everything else was just uh, some game contracts and eking out a few imps here or there. Um, so pretty interesting set of boards. Um, hope everyone enjoyed uh, this fun bridge tournament. I think it really showed the value of bidding game at uh, imps and just when it makes you just chalking them in. At match points, I think it would have been a bit more hesitant there, but at imps, I think it's probably worthwhile and paid dividends today. Anyway, thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this fun bridge tournament and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.